Welcome to Fuser 2025. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through using the excavation tool to create detailed, realistic excavation animations without the need for modeling work. This feature is ideal for preparing and visualizing site excavation phases efficiently. In this tutorial, we will cover eight objectives related to excavation. First, we will look at the importance of preparing your site for excavation. Then, we are going to overlay a PDF to draw precise excavation zones. Next, we will demonstrate how to create excavation zones, connect excavations together, adjust depth and angle of a zone, how to create ramps, and the option to customize the material of your excavation zone. Finally, we will look at best practices to ensure accurate and detailed excavation. Let's start by setting up our site. You can use the Site Context app or import your own model for excavation. The excavation tool is located in the Element Properties window visible when selecting any object. You can select any model for excavation. If you have an excavation blueprint or model in PDF format, you can overlay it onto your site for precise guidance. To add a PDF overlay, select Create PDF Overlay in the Element Properties. Set dimensions by holding ALT and dragging. Alternatively, you can type measurements into the width slash height boxes that appear. Once loaded, you can adjust the PDF's transparency in the color override option, making it easier to trace the excavation. With the overlay scaled and adjusted, you can easily trace along the PDF to define your excavation areas. When finished, the overlay can be hidden or shown using the visibility override, and it will automatically clear when the file is saved and reloaded. You can also clear the PDF at any time. To begin excavating, select any model and click Create Excavation Zone in Element Properties. A grid will appear, and you can set its cell size based on your requirements. Outline your excavation by clicking at least three points, then press ESC to complete. You can adjust the depth here, it is best to confirm elevation before adding features like ramps. When connecting excavation zones, Fuser provides snapping options for precise alignment. You can snap zones together using the cursor, which shows different symbols for various snapping points. Y for corners, X for walls, and plus for no snapping. Snapping excavations helps avoid unintended walls between sections. You'll also see a warning message if overlapping excavations aren't supported. The recommended approach is to create a main parent excavation and add zones within it for a smoother workflow. After defining an excavation, you can adjust its depth and angle. These settings will save to the keyframe system, allowing for multi-phase excavation animations. You can add ramps to your excavation by selecting Create Ramp in Element Properties. Hover over the edge of the excavation, adjust width, angle, and length, and click to finalize. The UI allows manual input for these adjustments to meet specific project requirements. Ramps help manage access points and ensure compliance with specifications. In case rough edges are created, Fuser allows you to smooth them out, edit the radius and strength of the smooth brush, and use the tool intuitively. Check out this other handy tool. Soil Displaced calculates the inside area of an excavation zone. You can leverage this calculation to know, for example, the number of trucks you will need to complete this job. You can also modify the material of your excavation zone for a higher visual fidelity or if you are working on a specific geological location. Select a texture from your library or a picture from your files. Then add a dirt map like the example shown. You can also save animations to MTA for integration into a sequence animation task, making it part of a 4D simulation. Follow this for example. First we will create a parent excavation. Set the depth and angle for you excavation zone. Then save this track by exporting you animation to Animation Manager. Convert your animation to a multi-track. You can create a new multi-track for the first phase, then use the Add to Existing option for the following phases. Create a second zone inside your parent excavation and repeat the process for all following phases. Backfill animation can be achieved by raising the depth of your excavation zone for a specific area or the whole excavation zone. 
After completing all phases of excavation, you can assign each phase to a different task in your schedule. To assign all you need to do is select the excavation area, then select the task, and click the Assign Selected Object button in Fusor. Here are a few guidelines for effective excavation. Use a single parent excavation for the main project area and create zones within it for additional sections. Set depth before snapping zones together. By doing this, you will avoid creating unwanted walls in your excavation zone, like the example shown. On the other hand, by setting the depth of your first excavation, then depth of the second excavation, you will get the desired outcome, as shown. Do not use the smooth brush close to the edges of excavation walls. If you need to start over, the tool is optimized for quick resetting. By deleting the keyframe you are currently working on, you can reset your work. Create the correct excavation zone and move forward. On the other hand, if you wish to restart your excavation simple, select the excavation zone and hit the delete key and the site context will automatically reload. With Fuser 2025, you can create precise, high-quality excavation animations to meet your project needs efficiently. By following these steps, you can streamline excavation workflows, add animations, and fully visualize site excavation phases. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and explore Fuser's powerful VDC tools.